You know how we keep checking our mouth when it's numb after a dentist visit? Well, if we can't feel a body part, it can totally distract us. And that's what happens when our proprioceptive system isn't up to speed. This important sensory system has receptors in our muscles, ligaments, and joints that are supposed to tell us where our body parts are and what they're doing without looking at them. However, if this sensory system isn't fully awake, we gotta do something to help it out. Like tap our foot, if we're not sure where it is at the moment. So as long as we're tapping, we're good. But it's usually not too long before we hear... Katie, stop that tapping. Yet, as soon as we stop, we don't know where our foot is again. So we're back to thinking about that instead of focusing on what we're doing. When the proprioceptive system isn't doing its job, we like to chew on just about everything. Especially when we have to sit still or we're stressed about something. And it seems crazy, but it's like all the chairs in the world are slippery. But just to us, here's what often happens. To pay better attention to a lesson, we begin rocking. With the rocking, we're now totally getting what the teachers say. But all that movement may then cause us to start to fall off the chair. If our proprioceptive system does its job, it sends a quick message to our brain to make an adjustment, which then keeps us on the seat. However, if we don't get that message in time, then before you know it, we slide right off the chair and onto the floor. When that happens, some of us are embarrassed or some of us pretend that we fell on purpose to save some face. But the truth is, none of us know why we keep ending up on the floor. To make matters worse, we then get in trouble if others thought we were goofing around and not listening. Sad thing is, we actually fell because we were paying attention. The proprioceptive system also tells us how much pressure we need to do something. But if we're not getting that message, it can mess us up in a lot of ways. Without the right feedback, we might hold the pencil too tightly, or not tight enough, or we might erase so hard the paper rips. And people think we're not kind when we pet the dog too hard or play too roughly with other kids. And if that weren't enough, people get annoyed when we touch everything we pass. But they'd do the same if they were blind or it was dark and they had to walk straight ahead. That's because touching the wall gives us a reference point. This is me, this is a wall. It's just that some of us need that reference point even when the lights are on. And there's more. With poor proprioception, we often invade everyone else's space. The problem is, we don't realize that we're in their space. Unfortunately, people often get annoyed with kids who lean, tap, chew, and touch things all the time. So it's good to know that it doesn't have to be that way. Not at all. We can totally wake up and improve our proprioceptive system. And while we're at it, we can have a whole lot of fun. <laughs>